Hello everyone. I am at the end of the year and I saved my, I was doing my um, foils, my samples every month and I probably should have kept up with that because I have so many now during the holidays. I didn't have time to update you guys, but I am now going to go through in this video and show you all of the foils that I used in the fall season and the holiday season. And um, let's just get right into this video. It's a little discombobulated, but I think it is going to help somebody to understand what I did. I can't even believe what I did. Oh my God. This is one third of the foils right here. I have to keep on putting them in here and I'm going to get myself a trash can. It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> We're just going to count Prada candy. Nice. Chloe Lovestrap, I love that one. Poison Girl, this was a really good one. Secret Genius, not so much. Dior, I love Jador, I got two of those. Um, Replica, oh, this was so good to me. It was the Beach Walk, I love this one in the summer, not now. This Stella McCartney in the purple, that was nice for the holiday season. Peony Rose, it was really nice. This right here, I just use that as a base. It's a man's fragrance. I like to use that to add some to them. This is too boring for me. I love my Victor and Rolf. I was so happy to get that. Another peony. Um, this was just a thing saying I got three times the points, so I got some fragrance. My Burberry, I love this right here. They sent me this, and then I got another sample. Olympia, that was okay. Victor and Raw, uh, that was a favorite of mine. And let's see, what have we got? Daisy, I really enjoyed Daisy. I got two of those. Miss Dior, I didn't like this in the summertime, but oddly enough, now I'm smelling it now. It's so great for the winter time for me. I love it for the winter. This is a Versace. I really enjoy all the Versace fragrance, each one in a different season. Giorgio Armani, what is this? Let me make sure. Uh, oh no, that's wrong category. Secret Genius, I didn't like that. Just didn't last. Mew Mew, I love this in the springtime, so good. Um, Soul of the Forest. This was nice, but it wasn't as herbally as what I would like. Then I got this set with the Birdor ones. Um, I'll go through. Um, Assam of India, that was a, a favorite of mine. I liked that one. Um, the Cecilia was nice, and um, this Russia, these were all very nice. Oud of Sara was just okay. Chanel number no. five. Um, it, this is a this is Luda Chanel number no. five. I actually like Chanel number no. five better than that. And then we have Hugo Boss. I use these as a base. Now we'll count them and be back with the number of fragrances I, I used. 30 fragrance packages in the last, so essentially 10 a month. So those are my fragrances. I found four more packets. I found four more packets here. I was really impressed by this particular one. This is Lazy Sunday Morning. I like the Misty Or a little bit better than this. I think they smell very similar. So if I were to buy one, I would buy Misty Or and not Lazy Sunday Morning. But if Lazy Sunday Morning were, say, way cheaper or on sale, then it would be a good substitute. It's a church lady fragrance. The name tells you everything you need to know. It is very church lady, very grandma s, but it uh, smells very nice. It was the kind of thing if somebody hugged you in church and they smell like that, you'd be like, oh yeah, this is what church is supposed to smell like. And then we have um, Dancing on the Moon. I like that one too. I don't know that I would purchase this. My favorite right now, which I lost the sample packet of, is the By the Fireside. I'm really liking that one right now. Mew Mew, I like this fragrance, but I can't remember how it smelled, and I didn't like Secret Genius. So those are four more. I think that brings my total up to 35. If I'm wrong, y'all just do Okay, that. so now we're gonna do hair care. Um, Kinky Curly, I think this is the shampoo. Clean, I like that shampoo. Uh, Living Proof Nourishing Oil. Never met a hair oil that, my hair's never met an oil it didn't like. I do like this Curl Cream by Brodigio. It's not my favorite. Um, 
I like this cream here, African Pride Cream, just as well as the Bredigio. This is so much cheaper, so that makes it a favorite. I did a video on this AGK um, coconut product. So we're up to four. I gotta try to add these up. Well, and then we have the Wee Shampoo. I like this a lot. It was very gentle for my hair. My hair needs a lot of cleaning. So this Wee Shampoo is for on days when I don't need that much cleaning you know, like midweek hair cleanings, but for that weekend deep clean, that's not the one. This Prodigio, this was really good too. I love shampoo and conditioner. So I really like this set here. I would purchase either of those two sets if they were on sale. This um, B6 Invisible Oil, I like that for freshening up my hair in between washings because I'm gonna put, my hair is dry, so I'm gonna put grease on it and those are good for in between. This invisible oil shampoo set, I like this too. Um, like them about the same. This Diva Curl Super Cream, this was very moisturizing on my hair. I say I might even spend the money on this one amongst all the different things that I tried. Um, this um, Extreme Mega Mast, I love this mask. I think it's from the drugstore, and if I saw it, I might try to pick it up it's Redkin's mask. It was had a good amount of protein in it, so that was really good for my hair. This was Verb. It was all right. It was the others that I just mentioned surpassed it. Um, this was Tresemme, and this gives you a nice deep clean. It's the Seven Formula. It's a repair shampoo, seven types of damage, and I have dye in my hair, so this really was helpful. And then we had the Living Proof set. This, again, for me, midweek washes. I like to, I will get as up to washing my hair like every other day, just because I like to keep my scalp fairly clean. I don't like dry shampoo, I like shampoo. My hair is pretty fine. It dries fast, I don't have to worry with that dry shampoo. But these are midweek shampoos for me. This is the Lift and Volume Condition. I didn't like the verb. It just wasn't for me. I like this kinky curly um, just to give my hair some hold. I used it like you would use a hair mousse. Here's another living proof. Oh, and I think that's body products. So that's everything. I will count these up and see how many um, hair care foils I used in the last three and months. I had set these three aside. These are Nexus Humectris. These were my absolute favorite because they really repaired the damage. My hair is like protein starved in the dyed hair area. And this, when I used it, it unknotted my hair and you know, my hair was back to being like normal hair again. So with this, I have 29. I counted these as different foils. So I have 29 hair foils. You will hear about these again. Alrighty, so now we are on to foundations and primers. Hopefully that's all I have in here. It's a lot of stuff, guys. We have CoverGirl Foundation, really like this. Healthy Elixir, I have a $2 off coupon. As soon as I find it on sale cheap enough, I will definitely use that coupon. Lancome, this was a click and go. It's a highlighter, I didn't like it at all. It just wasn't good enough. Lorac Porefection, I like their primer. And this Becca, I love this one. It is the winter time, and this foundation that they just came out with, Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream, really enjoyed that. Definitely gonna try and buy it when it's on sale, so that'll be a while. Didn't like their, this is Becca's Aqua Luminous. Nah, wasn't for me. It was too thin, too sheer. I got all kind of skin problems. I need extra coverage. Cover effects, it was okay, but it gave coverage, but the kind of coverage that I need is too thick. Um, oh, this should have been in the hair section. This makes the hair section up to 30, so just gonna throw that away. And I love this Isles Formula Finishing Serum for your hair. Stand out, I loved it, but that makes the hair section 30. And NARS Foundation, I wasn't that big of a fan. This was a standout for me. This is the only product that I've gotten by Tatcha Heart. This is their illuminating cream. This made my foundation look so good. 
I love the product. I love the way it felt on my skin. I like that it's a natural line, but it gave me better results than any other liquid illuminator I've ever used, so I am anxious to pick this up when there is some sort of sale. That's wrong category. Becca, I'm just mad about Becca for their, this is their liquid primer. My skin's so dark, this doesn't have enough to add any shine. My skin just sucks that in and there's no shine added to it from that. This is um, another NARS tint, like a light tint. I have hyperpigmentation. Anything that can't cover up scars, I'm like, why am I bothering? This is another product. Um, I think this is more the Lancome. I didn't like it. Um, okay, now this Becca, I did like this color corrector. Loved the color corrector. Didn't think lavender color corrector would work for me, but it did work. This was the Fenty foundation. I, after completely using up this sample, bought the Fenty foundation and I love it. Um, this is some primer I tried, some expensive primer. I don't even feel like going there and digging it out because it was not worth it for me. Uh, one night only gloss, I prefer um, sunless tanners. I, I want something that gradually tans my skin. I don't want to add a new kind of makeup. I want something, I put it on, it's clear, let it dry, wash my skin. I don't have to worry about it getting on everything. I didn't like that. This Giorgio Armani Luminizer, I had a few samples of that and um, I prefer the Tata Harbor. So we will add. I was able to try out 16 foundations and primers. I should explain to you, I got way more than that, but very few people actually give a sample in my color. So when they don't give me a sample in my color, I just throw those out. You know, I'm like, you know, never mind. What am I gonna do with that? Well, everyone, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this video till its very end and seeing how much stuff I am emptying this holiday season and this fall. I have a series of empties that are coming up. I am going to go through how many lipsticks I used this year, how many nail polishes I used this year, how many Sephora favorites kits did I use this year. If you think that this video compromises everything I use this year, the reason why it's taking me so long because it made me dizzy just looking at it. And now I'm finally getting to the end of this and I will be able to throw out all this trash. And hopefully next year I will use less products. I am definitely going on some semblance of a no buy. <laughs> but when you see how much stuff I use, it's like I still want my full face beat as long as I need it. So it's a little tricky. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. So watch the rest of the videos. Subscribe, comment, and um, thank you for watching this video. Jesus love you, and I love you with all, all, all of the Jesus in me. Be blessed, beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming to my little corner of YouTube.